625, about 70 degrees. <clears throat> Quite lovely, the fake sun has not come up yet. Let me see, fake sun, that was documented. Who was it? Jenny Lee and Gail from Gaia, I think. Gail from Gaia and uh, Jenny Lee, okay. Gail showed patents for fake suns. There are many countries that have a patent. They have developed fake suns all the way back to the 1950s, I think. <coughs> They have fake sons. So it's a thing. It's their patents for it. And Jenny Lee said she... Was it Jenny Lee? Shit, might have been a honey gold. I done that. Anyway, showed pictures of it in a book. Jenny Lee was like... And the girl was strolling through different patents and she picked out the one that they're currently in our skies. It has like a honeycomb pattern to it. You can't look at it. It's too fucking bright. It's too hot. Uh, and she said she felt that that was the Chinese uh, rendition of a fake sun. That's what's up there. And the girl said, well, where's the, where's the real sun? And she said she felt like it was moved to inner earth. And it will be brought back later. I don't know. Just telling you what I hear. I have heard for years that the, the sun that we see up in the sky is not hot. The heat's coming from somewhere else. I don't know. Just telling you what I hear. All kinds of spacecraft going in and out of the sun. That's everybody's caught that on video, for heaven's sakes. So if it's that hot, you know, how are they doing that? Oh, get the fuck away from me, nausea. Uh, and it's, uh, but they couldn't figure out how come, uh, why it's there, why are they doing it, why are they allowing it? There's the white hats, which I'm starting to call gray hats, because they're going too freaking slow. Uh... I heard that Michael Jaco even said this, said that the white hats are becoming gray hats because they have shit in their past they know is going to come out and they're, they're trying to cover their ass. And that's why they're dragging their feet. <sighs> Maybe if you guys fix us, we can forgive you. But not the, not the black hats. They, they're beyond forgiveness. They just need to be taken out to dinner. Uh, so anyway, so they couldn't determine Jenny Lee. They were unclear what. It was clear that the fake sun is killing everything. It's killing the trees. It's killing the fruits. It's killing the plants. It's killing the uh, our. Uh, I moved our aloe bushes outside. They've been inside for like three years. Thought I was doing them a favor. <clears throat> Almost killed one third of them, two thirds of them, before I could get them back inside. And they're just hanging by a thread because <clears throat> the fake sun is just like a mic. It's like Jenny Lee keeps saying. It's like being in a microwave oven, literally. What are you looking at, Ollie? Yep, Jurassic Park. Something always happening in Jurassic Park. Hey there, buddy. Callie, I wonder when you come back, like uh, David Wilcox says, he's a reincarnation of Edgar Casey. But you don't come back knowing that. You figure out that later. So I wonder if, I mean, Callie. Caddy uh, is marked just like Charlie, but he's she's also marked like her brother, his brother, Rufus. 
so you know is that Rufus is that Charlie uh, she's been lately coming into my bed which she's only stayed with my wife the entire time we've had her but now she's starting to come into my bed and go under the covers on my left side just like Charlie did and just like Rufus did I train most of my dogs to do that. Little ones, <laughs> little ones that is. Because my right side is hanging off the bed, so you can't get on the right side. You gotta get on the left side. Many a times I'll have two little doggies on my left side. But anyway, so Callie's starting to do that. So is she reincarnated? Uh, I heard the way it went was you start out as something like a rock. And then you go to being a plant, and then you rise up, rise up, rise up. And the point is, once you learn love, how to be loved, like we certainly did for Rufus and Charlie, the next level normally is they come back as a human. But they can choose to come back as your, your pet again. It's up to them. So, is that Rufus? Or is that Charlie? I don't know. I don't know how to know. I'm sure the markings are the same. And uh, I would assume some of the actions would have to come forth even if the animal itself was not conscious. I mean, I think if Callie was, knew she was Rufus or Charlie, she'd be licking us and going absolutely nuts. <sighs> I think she's as confused as we are. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to figure it out. So. <clears throat> uh, got a guy. He was referred by another guy. He's interested in two of our motorcycles. And out of all the bi bikes we have, over the weekend, those two motorcycles, one developed a flat tire and the other one won't run. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just trying to, I was gonna try to intervene, but I decided just to let it flow and see what happens. So if I remember to tell you, I will. I know it'll work out. That's not even, a, that's a given there. But uh, I'm getting smarter, I guess. Go with the flow. That is the key to everything. Just go with the flow. Callie, want some cheese? My dear. Well, damn. Just want to put some in my pocket. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. Get it. All right. Anyway. Anybody here saying this new world is going to take any longer than a few more weeks to show up, just turn them off. Don't even listen. It's happening now, now, now. Now, 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 now. There's your keyword. Now. All right. See your positive future. See what you want to be. See what you want to look like. Uh, if you want to be 18, completely healthy, money's no object, then that you can have that. Just see that. See it. See it. See it. See it. You're as crazy as it sounds. Don't tell anybody. For heaven's sakes. Because they'll probably talk you out of it. Well, anyway, it's all happening. Just keep breathing. <laughs>